Okay, Danny, let's we'll discuss, you know, what we learn up to now. What you learned during last Sorry. What you have learned during last lesson. Anything you remember? And now we I'm talking about marketing unit. We are doing marketing. During your first lesson, we discuss about what by marketing selling. So what is the difference between marketing and selling? Marketing, marketing and promoting. Yes, what about the selling then? Selling is, yeah, doesn't mind having other conditions, just selling. Which one is a long term, which one is a short term? Marketing is long. Yes, marketing is a long term, so we'll focus on the customer satisfaction. So in selling, we not focus on the customer section. We can sell them anything. What is a benefit for as benefit for as an organization, not individual customer. So we selling them anything that really give us more profit. So during our previous lesson, I discussed with you, marketing is a management process responsible for identifying, anticipating, and satisfying the customer requirement profitably according to the Chartered Institute of Marketing, CMI, which is Chartered Institute of Marketing UK. And in America, it's a Chartered Institute is called AMA, uh, American Marketing Association. So they explain marketing is a process of explaining as executing the conception of pricing, promotion, distribution. So all come under the marketing elements as well. So then we discuss various other definitions. So key purpose and key difference between marketing and selling, we explain. So marketing is focused on the customer satisfaction and selling is a pro just a focus to sell the product and earn the profit. But marketing is more about the customer focus and selling is more profit oriented. Just uh, one, which one was the push and pull? Push and pull. Yes, so we discuss, you know, the push and pull. Selling was push model where we push the customer. Oh, it's a last chance. Mm, it's a last chance to buy these goods, you know. It's a 70% price is off. So this is all push, you know, to attract the customer. They will buy our product. But the marketing to identify their needs, we exploring the customer needs and then we are selling the product that suits them. Not, not just based on the price, based on the customer needs. Okay, so all we discuss, we discuss marketing strategies, we discuss about planning, we discuss vision and mission during our previous lesson. And I explain your planning process. Yes, all these. And then we discuss micro environment as well during our last lesson. And uh, I mentioned you unsoft metric, which is a go unsoft, one of the Russian move to in state and gave this model. And basically he was mathematician and gave this model is called unsoft metrics. And we discuss about the market development strategies. We discuss about market penetration, diversification, and product development. So market development, when we are expanding through the existing product into the new market, when we have a market penetration expanding through existing product or the services into existing market, we call it the market penetration and diversification 
expanding through new product into new market so we can diversify new product into new market product development expanding through new product into an existing market so we discuss you know what approach can you use as a company and then during our last lesson i discuss about with you the porter generic strategies we can be a cost leadership where we just focus on the cost we discuss about cost focus that's a narrowly target one element one product can be cost focus differentiation total every product is different than our competitors differentiation focus can be just one product is different than our competitors yes daniel any question uh no sir but uh is, is it second price right right so is there a second class of strategy marketing yes okay today is a second lesson and uh, we discuss marketing mix during our first lesson as well you remember four p's i discuss product price promotion and place and then we discuss now i'm showing you the first lesson so and then we discuss about 7p concept 7p further you know we adding 3p people places and processes so in marketing as a marketing student we should know what is a 4p product price promotion and place and then 7p further you know different authors said no instead of 4p we will add further 3p is called people physical evidence and the processes we need to focus on the human being those are working in the marketing department we need to look around can you see screen no daniel uh, yes sir can you see now yes okay so let's you know okay so during our first lesson all about we learn about what is the difference between marketing and selling so just remember marketing is focus on the satisfaction and the selling is focus on the short term just to increase the number and we sell more to earn more profit that's all it doesn't bother about the customer satisfaction we only bother about the profit so selling is a short term short period of time but the marketer and the marketing process is a long term we want to develop the relationship with the customer we want to sell the product that suits customer then we discuss about the marketing mix which is four p's product price promotion and place so when we all mix we need to be product will sell it they will choose the right price for the right product and the place where we will sell the product and we use the right promotional channel tvs are online promotion or coupons trade shows all sort of promotions people yes will recruit the right person those deal with the uh, consumer with the customer to satisfy physical evidences mean our surrounding environment where we will deliver the suits you know comfortable and that should be uh, we need to focus processes yes when we'll promise something our delivery our system our recording after sale service all these you know the processes need to be we for all these as a seventy to satisfy the customer needs and want and we discuss needs is the main basic thing which how we can't survive and they want any specific brand really we want like water is a need and the specific brand coke pepsi is our wants okay let's you know any question daniel yeah. manur manur if any question ask me as well so let's next now next we are today is lesson 2 and we'll discuss about in lesson 2 
So evaluate the various approaches of internal analysis. We'll go through internal environment. We'll discuss external environment, which we also call the micro environment. We'll explain internal and external analysis, strategic alternative, how we can choose different alternative, different approaches. If we don't launch this product, which other product we can launch as an alternative. Alternative mean substitute or chain one option instead of two other options so we have to make a decision so like you're attending this lesson you have other option you don't attend it you do work or you do something else so all these are alternative it's entirely up to you you have to think about you have to make the decision that suits you okay so today we are doing learning outcome one uh, learning outcome two and assessment criteria 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, which I'll go through with you. Internal analysis approaches will all discuss with you. Approaches like resource-based performance. I'll go through with you value chain model, which I'll discuss with you. Micro environment, micro environment, competitor analysis. I'll explain you a bit void and internal and external environment, how we can fit it. Customer analysis on what basis we can analyze the customer and we can make the decision either which product will sell to customer that suits them. And on what basis we can segment, seek basis of segmentation, targeting, and positioning our customer and our product, our market. So that's all we'll go through during our this lesson. Please, if any question, feel free, ask me, drop me text, or drop me email as well. So let's we'll start our lesson today, lesson two. Okay, so today lessons M, introduction to business environment, internal and external, explanation of resource-based views, value chain, segmentation, and consumer behavior. So at the end of the lesson, I wish you know we will be in a position, you will explain what is meant by business environment and describe the value chain, resource-based view, and segmentation. So at the end of the lesson, I wish you know the objective will achieve lesson. Okay, let's you know, we'll discuss. Okay, Daniel, what is meant by business environment? Anything within? Yes, anything within a business environment. So, if we'll do business in South Korea is a different environment, then we'll do business in Saudi Arabia and we'll do business in UK. Some country have a taxes, some country don't have a taxes, some country have a less taxes, some country have a more taxes, some countries cultural environment, some product is forbidden to sell. In some countries we can sell it openly. Yes, so is a business environment and culture is totally different of each country. So we'll discuss about business environment. Okay, what do you know about micro and macro? Micro? Yes. You may be heard about microchip, micro, and macro. Micro means very small. Okay. Yes, well done. Micro means yes. small. Macro. And macro? It's big. It's yes, well done. So, micro, M I. C R O micro is means small. Okay, small. So we call. Sorry, is my computer giving a little trouble? Okay, small, and uh, we call internal. Okay, so micro environment mean internal environment within an organization. Okay. 
which is consist of our policies within a companies our procedures within our organizations what time will start shift what time will finish who is responsible for what within a company r and d research and development training promotion recruitment selection so all these are internal environment that represent or uh, we can call structure of organization so that's internally it shows all you know the my is micro environment okay what is meant by macro then big so macro is a big we also call them external environment small uh, micro is big external and we use word uncontrollable can we control it okay but micro is controllable if we want to change the layout of our chairs our procedures our color within our organization our branding we can change whenever we want to yes yeah. but external p e s t l e pastel or we call pest political economic social and technological environment we can't change it we have to adopt it yes political party ideology the government in power in each country we can't change them as a company so we need to adopt them yes what their what their political ideology so which will go through today our discussion of this lesson which will be external and internal environment so successful business person or business all with everything in a business environment the impact on the way it's operate so some factor have a direct impact some factor have a indirect impact some factor have a impact and organization cannot control them and some factor will have impact but organization may have some influence over them so i already upload the book please you can follow as well which is supposed to be on moodle i'll recheck you know make sure so micro environment it's come political forces political factors social cultural forces is come economic forces legal forces technology all come environmental forces and technological forces all come under the micro environment but internal environment production finance personnel department suppliers customer competitor that we considering we can deal with them up to some extent we can cluster as a micro environment but other outsider that's called micro environment okay organization must face the fact that change always change so we have to change it in fact that the current environment the speed of the change is quite intensifying a lot of company they are closing their businesses they be due to the online sales more because we living in a global village now we have distance been removed so environmental analysis how complex environment knowledge technology fashion how these change so when we looking political we looking all these environment uh, political factor economics under the micro environment and then identify the critical change factors and we will examine whole historical trend what is happening in history so under the micro environment all these factors like i just mentioned technology when we looking okay do we have a nokia phone michael uh, danny so nokia 
I think so. not anymore. No used to be leader. We discussed during our last lesson, but very few people have a Nokia anymore, and most of people have iPhone. Yes. More people have Samsung because due to the technology, Nokia not develop it right. Technology change ultimately what's happened then of course you know that these products become if we don't keep our technology up to date our product with it okay economic factor yes people per capita income every country have a different per person income people have different exchange rates in different currencies they're dealing with it so we need to look around economics environment so when we look in economics environment we're looking GDP gross domestic or national income we're looking per capita income so all these factors being so all these factors we need to look around closely and we need to monitor which i'll go through on the slide as well so like during last lesson we discussed as well any question anybody if you have please ask me so economics, legal environment, where we're looking different legislation. Legislation in South of Korea can be different. Legislation and the rules can be totally different in you. Legislation in uh, Saudi Arabia can be totally different. So political different manifesto, different political parties have environment, internet, pressure group, So like women is authorized to do driving in Saudi Arabia. So that's a socially change is happening in society. All we need to look around national statistics, you know, how much is population like you know, second child policy in China. It used to be banned. You're supposed to be have only one kid. So that's all, you know, is that come under the social sector, like a mother care business. If it is in China, so government remove the, the restriction on the second child. It means the mother care businesses have more opportunities to sell mother care product, you know. So we can look around these factors as a external environment. Okay. Any question, Daniel? Okay, so I included some political factors for you to look more in detail. So some legal factors, those some people consider under under the pest instead of pestle model. So in employment law, we need to look around consumer protection law, competition laws. So like in UK, we have a Health and Safety Act 1974 equal pay. So everybody doesn't matter you're a local from Saudi Arabia or you're from external you will get be equal paid if they equal so in some country there is a learning 10 times more than others so that's a bit you know so we have a equal salaries here national minimum wage everybody is getting seven pound fifty an hour so that's the equal pay. Sex discrimination, we can't discriminate. Women will get less salary than men. So on the basis of race, religion, um, so all we need to look some race relationship act. So we can't discriminate according to the race relation act. Is that all being we need to be keep them in a employment as well employment protection act that provide the protection to employ an employer so all come under them so all these legislation we need to look around consumer protection it's safe supply goods act it's quite popular if goods not fit for purpose if you buy a good and that's written this goods have for this purpose but actually when you use it they're not like a cancer drug drugs medicine if those not protecting it against the cancer, then of course that's a telling lie. So we need to look around. That mean it's not it's mean not uh, following the proper legislation. If we misled the customer, 
about the how much is uh, this product how much is in what sort of the ingredient within a product that's not fit for purpose so under the sale good and supply act in the uk you have a right to refund you have a right to get the money back from even in various company 28 days rules is you can buy something if not fit for purpose you can return within 28 days any question no no okay trade description we need to look around all the description within the product all we need to explain consumer credit act when we are giving credit so we need to look around their credit check they should be have ability to pay back the debt if we are giving money to somebody but they don't have ability to pay back and then we can claim from their personal asset so that's against the law we need to check what their incoming and outgoing then we need to authorize the credit so all these been explained competition laws in the uk is the competition laws not one company control everything so under the competition laws we're not doing group task here so i'm just delete this okay any question that yes any question daniel no no okay so next we're looking the economic factors under the economics environment we look different factors like we looking per capita income we looking our organization the constant of household how many household we have how much they are paying how much they are consuming so all this come under the economic factors so please when you i'm not going through all slide but you can under economic factor we looking the inflation so what is meant by inflation daniel Inflation means the prices are the persistently increase in the price index. The when persistently prices increasing, we say we a call is a inflation is a happening in the country. Yes. So retail price index. are increasing we call inflation how much inflation you have in uh, south africa uh, sorry south korea sorry how much inflation in your country One point. Okay. Yes, we have around two percent inflation to due to the UK is going outside the Brexit. It's not anymore. European Union will be next within two three years. So that's why is inflation is quite high. Is two percent in you. That's we call inflation. Okay. So because when we have a more inflation, the people have of course less money to buy the thing. So that's all about we. always look you know under the factors so we need to focus how demand pull inflation where there is a high demand less supply that is called demand pull inflation okay cost push inflation when inflation the price increase due to the cost increase like you know the labor cost national minimum wage each person will minimum wage will increase from it used to be 4 pound then 5 pound then 6 pound per hour then 7 pound now 7 pound 50 per hour everybody supposed to earn 7 pound 50 an hour so that's mean that is the inflation as a company we are paying more is costing us more that's in they will charge more from the customer so that's called cost push inflation so that cost is pushing the prices upward okay one term we use hyperinflation hyperinflation 
what is meant by hyper anybody ever heard inflation when inflation is more than 10 percent If is the inflation more than 10%, we call the hyperinflation. Is two digit. So that's huge. In some country, maybe in a one year, if price is increasing 20%, 30%. So that's called hyperinflation. Any question? Okay, so we need to, under economics environment, we need to look around unemployment, employment rate within a country. So unemployment, if a high people unemployed, of course, they have a less money. When they have a less money, that will affect our business. So we always need to look around as well. Control the level of employment within a country, that will help, you know. So, um, okay, up to next lesson, I'm giving you this activity, if you can, please. You think about your own country, where you from, and look the inflation rate, how much you have in your country, how much is the GDP. If you can't find it, go Google and type GDP for suppose, South Korea according to World Bank data. The so World Bank data will give you all the information about any country. Per capita income mean, per person income, unemployment rate, Interest rate is mean base rate, basic interest rate, which is central bank decide how much we'll charge. Balance of payment, if it's a trade we are doing import and export, the difference between them, that's the balance of payment. Is it positive or negative? So just try to find information about your own country that will help us to develop understanding. It will go through next lesson. Any question, Daniel? Okay, Manur, if any question, drop me text. Okay, next, we're looking next now, according to, our, if we look assignment, it's called resource-based performance or resource-based review. So, we're looking now. Okay, resource-based review is a strategy of the company, the competitive advantage and the superior performance of organization are explained by the distinctiveness of its capability. So we are capable like Apple iPhone. Yes, by you as resources generating more profit. So that's, you know, all come under the resource base view, which we'll see the three sources. CG capability. What is meant by capability and competencies? Anybody ever heard capability? Ability. Well then, capability mean ability. So capability. Okay, what about the competency then? Okay, when you pass your driving test, how to drive the car, it means you have an ability. Yes, we can call you have a capability to drive, but you're not a competent. Competencies come after, after driving few years. It means experience. We call competent, yes? So capabilities, are the capability of organization that contribute the long-term survival are the competitive advantage we can competencies are the way the asset are you deployed how competent we are to use our human resource our people our processes our plant our machinery like you know some people use the building 24 7. yes like the nightclub and the daytime is a restaurant serving foods. Yes, so that's all about competencies. We have to utilize our asset, but not everyone. Okay, so that's all. When we're looking the resources, strategic capability, we're looking how much physical resources they have, 
how the way we are using those physical resources as an organization. So if we are using best way, we are competent, we have a capability, we have a resources, but how we utilize them, that's the capability. Like many, they have an enrich of national, uh, natural resources, they have physical, they have a capability, they have resources, they have a money, but they don't have a competencies. Yes, to fulfill the needs of the public. So that's all about the balance. So financial resources, it means cash. How I have ability to raise and use it. Manage, manages and employs and partner, human resource, and how we have uh, ability to use the people, right person in the right team at the right place with the right. Any question? Any question? No, okay. So next we're looking uh, some people. Is it the capability we have today is it the capability will stay forever? Capability that was Nokia was very successful in the past is not mean that Nokia will be successful in the future. So now, so can become less relevant as the industry evolve and change. Such capability can become rigid, so it's become carry on habit change and become a weakness so we need to be capability we have we have to improve our capabilities it will stay the knowledge we have the ability we have it will become outdated so is a very important quotation either you 80 or 20 if you stop learning you become a child yes so the abilities capability we have dynamic capabilities are mean the capabilities which change which need to renew it so we have to recreate it as an organization. If we were a very successful organization, it's not mean we will be forever successful organization if we, because that dynamic, is dynamic mean change. Okay, thus we need to focus. Generic sensing capability const constantly scanning. So we have to constantly scanning what is a happening in environment? What the competitor is doing to, to address, you know, because otherwise we not create a competitive advantage against our competitor. Seizing, so some capability we can seize because with the passage of time, we need new ideas. Addressing the opportunity through new product and we all, so reconfiguring capability, new product and processes may be required to renew and re so please go through these slides. Then the threshold is means the benchmark. We need minimum ability. People can read, write. People know the basic computer if we're working in our organization now. So that's a threshold mean basic benchmark, KPIs. Distensive capability are those are the required achieve competitive advantage. So they need a unique capability. People can work on the machine. People know how to deal with the customer. They have a experience of foreign. They have a foreign experience. They have a local experience. So that's very, you know, so they're quite good. They can speak different languages. So all this we can call them. Okay, then threshold, we can set the threshold mean the benchmark competencies, how much threshold, what sort of competencies required to be delivered the things properly. So for the customer satisfaction, distensive resources we require to achieve the competitive advantage and competencies to be utilized. So all these being core competencies link, link with the skills, activity and the resources all together that create the value for customer for the different. Okay, next model we're looking is called value chain. Value chain. Values can change from one hand to other hand. One place to other place. Maybe oil prices is very less in Saudi Arabia, but is a change when the oil moved to the different part of the world, it's a different value of it. 
different product value as an organization we can change it so describe the category of the activities within our organization which together create a product or services value consists of the five primary activities and secondary activities so all these been explained so sport activities from infrastructure human resource technology development and procurement these are the sportive activities within our organization then the prime activities inbound logistic where the goods are coming inside the warehouse operation it can be various production operation we are converting raw material into the finished good and the finished good going to the outbound warehouse outbound mean the goods we can sell it goods is going out from my factory so marketing and sale that make you different if we'll keep the customer if we we'll listen them if we handle the objection of the clients ultimately that will if we offer the after sales service so that ultimately increase and create the value for and these are called the value system within our organization so value system inter yes uh, organizational link and relationship these are all activities so if we are very good in a production but we don't have an infrastructure who is responsible for what we not recruiting the right people for the right job at the right skill if we don't have a technology in place where the people can do online booking procurements so all this will leads to we can't create a competitive advantage so if these things sporting activity create the value within our organization as well and we can look the value chain okay it's quite good to play this video is called value chain activities and we'll see there is quite good to watch how the organization change the value within us so what you can do you can copy this link and you can watch please so you can copy and paste this link and then you can play and you can watch is only things so if i remember correctly is only one two minutes three minutes video max and that's been explained the value chain and this model given by mike Porter is one of the popular authors. Maybe you can't properly hear because any question yeah. okay so this please you can watch yes maybe you you can't hear properly because i'm playing it i don't have outside speakers attached with the laptop so that's why maybe you can't hear properly but thus you can watch you know that give you a really good you know understanding about the value chain model and we can use as well examples Okay, any question up to now? Okay. Next we're looking is called SWOT analysis. Have you learned before? I think so most of you already learned this model before. SW is called internal environment strength weaknesses. And 
OT is a external which is called opportunities and threats. So we always comparing internal environment with external environment. So we do the SWOT analysis. It can be applicable if you're doing own appraisal. It means you're looking what strength weaknesses we have as an individually, and then we can look around what opportunity we have employment, what threads can be if we don't improve it, or we convert our weaknesses to more strength. Are we not use the word really weaknesses anymore? We use the area of development. So that's we need to. Okay. So SWOT analysis, strength and weaknesses. I have a book which is supposed to be on Moodle. Shall we have a further explanation? We can score them by using uh, which area we have positive, negative which area you're strong in IT, you're strong, maybe you're good in the dealing with the customer, you're good in the customer objection handling, you're good in the speaking different languages. So these are, or maybe I'm not good in speaking Arabic, or maybe I'm not good in speaking Korean. So maybe prove if I have to deal with the customer there. So that's a trend. Maybe I have a multiple or uh, different cultural knowledge that can be maybe I'm financially strong maybe I have other skills so all these are come under the strength weaknesses we can explore then we can look oh yes there are the opportunity a lot but to cope my opportunity I have to improve my strengths but thread there are many com companies doing the same business that's the main thread so normally we compare next model is called toes metric the metric comparing environment so we can compare S with O. This means strength and opportunity. If we have match, we have a strength, we have a money, we have a expertise, we have a knowledge. Outside is a lot of opportunities, people, a lot of demand of the product. That's an ideal situation to do the business. Okay, then scenario, we are weak, we don't have a money, we can borrow their money from the bank from relative we can engage people those have a multi skill but there is outside is opportunity we call maxi mini maxi approach because we are minimum but outside is opportunity maximum so that is called that strategy is quite good you just need to focus your area of development but opportunity is already there a lot of demands of the product then third situation can be internal and external we can compare st scenario where we're looking we are strong but outside is a threat threat mean uh, different companies already doing business but we are strong because we are a financially big company we can overcome all these threats we can take our other companies we can kick them out from the market so that's all about is st situation it's if that can be our ideal as well we can do business but situation then we are weak we don't have a knowledge we just finished study we want to start our own expertise and other thing you know in the market a lot of people doing the same business so it mean high threads there high risk there so that's not an ideal situation but maybe some people still want to do it some people maybe have a thought higher the risk higher the reward but this is a high risk situation so we're not supposed to do the business in this situation. Maybe some people take a risk taker and they do it. It's up to them, but it's quite difficult, you know, in that situation. Anybody, any question? Yeah. Okay, next we're looking segmentation. What is meant by segment? What is meant by segment? No segmentation? What is meant by segmentation? Segmentation mean dividing the total market. So segment, look, 
South Korea population is how many million? Different is mean the young, elder. So if we are making the pro accordingly, so segmentation mean dividing your total market into the small elements. So if we're looking north, if we're looking south, different weather, so we can launch different products. So segmentation, we can segment the market into the small portion we call segmentation. So as a business, we need to segment a car, race, religion, product and services. We can segment on the basis of occasions and the behavior of the people. Some people use more, so we can give them more. We can segment according to the family size of the people. Like, you know, think about the head and shoulder shampoo. The small big bottle in the countries where the people have abilities to afford. In some countries, people can't afford it because they have a less uh, purchasing power. So that's why we can segment it. Like we can make the small pack. We can make the big pack. So, okay, segmentation. The concept of market, no segment, it means every individual person need we need to. Full segment, each individual, it's very difficult to look around every individual person need. Then we can market segment on the basis of male and female. Yes, female product, male product. Market segment, we can look around by the age. Yes, different age kids and adult product and we can segment according to adult and age. So these are the segmentation basis, which I'll include in you know, these slides and the so basis of segmentation geographic according to the nation, the country, different product at the states and the re region, <coughs> city and the metro side, density climate according to the weather. Then demographic, we can segment according to the age, race, gender, income, education, family size, family life cycle, occupation. Does it make sense? Okay, then behavior segmentation, we can psychographic, it means psyche of the people and the behavior. It's quite linked with it. So psychographic occasions benefit. Yes, some people buy different occasions like Eid festival, like Christmas festival, like New Year festival, like any other occasion. So people have, so we can at this time, people behavior is spending. So we can segment our product accordingly on different occasion, different benefit, user status. So different, you know, fashion design shops, design shop, usage rate, loyalty status, buyer readiness, attitude towards the product, like foreign product. A lot of people use it in some country, maybe hate it. Some products, we need to look around the behavior wise. This is, I'll try to send you the case study, Navia, how the Navia cream segment according to the different skins different people, different age group, different country. The Navy has segment their uh, creams as well, their body lotions and various other things. So all these are come under the segmentation. So we learn under the segmentation, major four bases, geographic, demographic, psychography, and behavior. Any question? Daniel, any question? No. So I'll copy these four slides in my other man slides. Okay, so what we learn up to now, let's look at recap. What do we know about uh, environment? How many types of environment we have in business?
Types what those are? Well then, uh, menu internal and external. Okay, and then we discuss uh, internal is controllable. It's come policies, procedures, and external. Is it external? Is it controllable? No, external. We can't control. We can't control. Well, then we have to adjust ourselves. And what sort of in external environments are? Sorry. External environment. What what consists of? Like we mentioned, political, political and economics, uh, yeah, okay. social. Technological, legal, well then, Manur as well, great. So that's all come as external environment. Okay, next, we learn about resource based view. Yes, so what is the difference between capabilities and competencies? Capabilities mean, capabilities mean abilities to do something. And the competencies, well done. And how experienced, how competent you are using less resources, giving more output. Okay, then we learn about the value chain, primary activities, and secondary activities, support activities. Yes, so from infrastructure, human resource, technologies, and procurement that comes supportive. And the primary is inbound operation, outbound marketing, sales, all. So all we need to look around how we'll create the value within all these activities. And we watch the video as well. Then we discuss SWOT analysis, which is consist of internal and external environment. So we matching internal and external is quite good to match. And then we learn about Uh, we learn about segmentation. So, how many types of segmentation are basis of segmentation? So, there are four major types of are uh, the basis of segmentation. Well done, Manur. Great. So, that's all we covered today. Please, if you have any question, ask me. Uh, there are we, uh, we didn't. Uh, yes, Danny, I need to arrange one more lesson for accounting with you. I'm not sure, can we maybe do some point tomorrow or Tuesday? Tuesday, what about Tuesday? Tuesday is okay. Tuesday is fine. Yeah, fine. Okay, but Tuesday I uh, will be free around yeah. around three o'clock UK time. I'm not sure what time will be yours. Your will be eleven. It's okay. Fine. It is it okay with you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll do lesson Tuesday around, okay? Okay. I will send you the link, huh? Okay. Because I am supposed to be in my university for teaching and I will finish lesson half one approximate and then I will come to 